Grade 12 Physics, Fields Note Number 7, Electric and Magnetic Field Summary. In this note, we're just going to recap some of the things that we saw in this unit, and especially take a look at um, how a charged particle acts in an electric field versus how it acts in a magnetic field. So some of the similarities here. The similarities between the fields, both of them follow 1 over r squared relationship. So when you get further away from a magnet or from a charged object, the fields get weaker and weaker and weaker. Also, both fields are capable of being attractive and repulsive. That's something that's different from gravitational fields, which is only attractive. The difference is they have different origins, so magnetic fields come from magnets. Um, charged objects can give you electric fields. And also, the, the behavior of a charged object in each of these fields is different. So the diagrams that we're going to draw here is going to display the behavior of those charged particles. If we look at an electric field, let's say we have a positively charged plate on the top and a negatively charged plate on the bottom. If we throw a proton between them, the proton is going to repel from the top and attract to the bottom and it's just going to veer down. If we put a positive charge on plate, both of those plates, the proton is going to equally repel from each of them and it's just going to travel straight on through. If we look at a magnetic field, let's say on a top plate we have like a north polarity, on the, south, on the bottom plate we have a south polarity. If we throw a proton into there, it's going to veer into the page. If we reverse the polarity, so south on the top and north on the bottom, here again if we throw a proton in, it's now going to veer out of the page. The way we find both of those is from the right hand rule.